What's your problem? <laughs> okay. Okay. Monkeys and rabbits in the soup? No, animal crackers in my soup. Monkeys and rabbits, loop the loop. Oh, <laughs> that's so sweet. He walked her all the way home. Are you cold yet? Faster. Are you cold yet? Huh? Always cold. Always cold. It's like 11 p.m. We just, I just thought I should get Nikki out of the house once a day. <laughs> Fresh air tastes like crap. This fresh air tastes like crap. Oh, look at this. Look at this creeper up here. Look, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him, look at him right here. Oh, look at him. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Look at that guy. Look at him. <laughs> What's up, man? Uh, take a left. Yeah, go uphill. Fuck it. I'm gonna use this ticket here, this letter, to block people from knowing that I've told me. What did you say? My zipped your pants. <laughs> what about them? I didn't know we were going this far. I would have put on other pants. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you made your bed now, lay in it. <laughs> Tell you what, we're gonna do, we're gonna do like a block. We're gonna go up here. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go up here to the uh, hot cakes chocolate cakery, take a left, go down a block, take another left, go to another block, and we'll be home. That's it. Just a, just a short walk, man. That's all it's gonna be. Okay? You cool with that? The fruits of disaster. I think that car looks very stealable. <laughs> let's, let's not start that now. I'm sorry. You just say you're so homesick? Oh, for China! Oh, fuck, man, me too! Oh, and Chinese New Year's coming up. Like a week and a half. Week and a half, we man. To to China and never come back. We should! Stuff. Don't take it, it rabies. No, look at this fucking building. Wow. Look at this shit. Oh, shit. Sorry, man. You dropped my, not argyle, but a pattern. Argyle? <laughs> like a fucking sweater? <laughs> not the diamonds, though. Diamonds? Diamonds are argyle. The diamonds. Diamonds of argyle? <laughs> Girl, you would need to fucking, like, explain what the fuck you talking about. <laughs> Shut up, Nikki. Don't talk. Well, Just it. don't talk. Ow. <laughs> Shut up. This is alcohol. If you want alcohol, go ahead and look in here. But if you want something else, go farther down. Let's see how long it takes Nikki to pick something out. Tea and shit. Fuck it. These motherfuckers. See now this is this is professional service right here, man. It goes above and beyond what you would expect from a stylist. Meet me in this dark like parking garage at night, it, cause it's like nine o'clock right now, and cut my hair. And she'd be like, "Oh yeah, no problem. I'll be right there." She brought her own chair and everything. Man, I tell you, we're really we're moving up, and you know things that we need to get done. <clears throat> this 
a little dirty out tonight, you know what I'm saying? Just a little bit. Today is the day off. Just the one day off though. I got split days this week because mm, somebody's gonna be in town. Off to the store to uh, pick up stuff for dinner. We're gonna do some gnocchi. Um, that's, that's, that's all that's going on. Just did my taxes. That's one good thing. You know, I haven't done it in like two years or something. Dude, I feel like an adult and shit. Using coupons. <laughs> Do you hear this fucking... You hear this shit? <laughs> Shane, help! <laughs> now, if it was up to me, I would get some super glue and super glue the fuck out of the base of that shit. That's a... That's, that's a Jacob. Say what? Watch an instructional YouTube video. No, 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 no. How did I change the light bulbs? <laughs> I, I basically just took the option to possibly break it and just yanked really, really hard. And if it broke, it fucking broke. And it didn't break. Um, yeah. If that was a Jacob option though, I would, I would super glue it. But I'm not gonna do that. Uh, Nikki has uh, found her new favorite thing. They are, see look, look, look at that. They're lemony marshmallows with chia seeds in it. Nikki, what are you reading? Very difficult. Very difficult. I'll read you a passage. <clears throat> can I... Can I finish making coffee? You wanna listen? No, I was just gonna... Um, all I gotta do is put the grounds in it. Shut up, man. Just give it a... Just give me a... Go ahead. Just read. How long is this? Not very long. Okay, go. Um, okay. <clears throat> We need to examine critically, not just how a student acquires more knowledge, but why and how particular aspects of the collective culture are presented in school as objective, factual knowledge. How concretely may official knowledge represent ideological configurations of the dominant interests in society? How do schools legitimate these limited and partial standards of knowing as unquestioned truths? The first of these questions refers to the hidden curriculum in schools, the tacit teaching to students of norms, values, and dispositions that goes on simply by their living in and co copying the institutional expectations and routines of school schools day in and day out for a number of years. The second question asks us to make educational knowledge itself problematic to pay much greater attention to the stuff of curriculum where knowledge comes from, whose knowledge it is, what social groups it supports, and so on. The final query seeks to make educators more aware of the ideological and epistemological commitments that tacitly accept and promote by using certain models and traditions, say a vulgar positivism, systems management, structural functionalism, and process of social labeling are behavior modification in their own work. <clears throat> what is your analysis? Um, 
Hey, if I don't understand something, then that means it's real smart. So, hey, good for you for being able to handle that shit. Jacob's not doing it. You can explain it very easily for me. Please to explain. Yes, go. Schools are not neutral nor objective. By the very fact that their curriculum, their subjects, come from an authority, they are producing an agenda. And whether they explicitly advertise this agenda, they may say, oh, I teach arithmetic, I teach geography, I teach history. However, they are also working under an implicit curriculum or agenda that students learn to read into. I'm expected to be compliant. I'm expected to believe in this idea of nationalism and patriotism that our history curriculum promotes without questioning it and such. And in that sense, teachers are teaching knowledge that they have no way of legitimizing when they have not questioned it or criticized it. Do you understand? Yes, Nikki. I, I understand. Thank you. Let's finish that coffee. And six, six-ish. This is my, uh, this is my giant bag that I got from work. I've already gone through the first giant bag, now on to the second.